Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the color of social media icons in Photoshop. Are you ready? Let's go. Alright, so for this tutorial, I'll be using Photoshop 2021. Alright, so you open your Photoshop software and then you go to File, you hit New, okay, you create a new document, you give it a name. I can just say um, Social Media Icons. Social Media Icons okay you can use any dimension of your choice but i think i like to use um okay four by four that's the the square square dimension four inches by four inches okay sorry about that four inches okay then my resolution um just okay let me say 300 okay your color mode should be in rgb okay since you're not going to print it but if you're going to print it you should use the cmyk all right which is this okay but like I said, it's not for printing, so I just leave it at RGB. All right, so you leave other um, settings the way they are, all right, and then you click create. Okay, so okay, so this is our blank document. I might um, and I like to change the background color of this to something else to maybe a darker color. All right, so I click my um, um, this color, um, this foreground. Um, icon foreground color icon here okay let me select a darker color like uh, i think a deep blue i think i like something like a blue here deep blue okay then um i go to my to my what do they call it now to my pen bucket okay okay so i take my pen bucket to and i click on the blank canvas all right to change the color all right so i have successfully changed the color of my background to a deep blue color so i can just rename the layer here to the background okay so this is just to maintain the standard procedure all right so the next thing to do is to import my um, um, icons into Photoshop okay so I go into my computer and um, let me look at okay so this these are the icons uh, this or these are some of the icons I wish to change the colors okay so let me start with the Facebook all right so I click the um, Facebook icon all right then I drag it into Photoshop okay it's not it's not opening okay um so what i do is i click i can also right click and then select um open in photoshop okay all right so this is um our our facebook icon we are going to change this color to uh maybe a brighter color all right so the first thing you do you can rename it and then just say facebook all right so i always like to um make my objects a smart object okay so that um, it won't um, lose the resolution if I reduce the size. All right. So I right click and I select convert to smart object. Okay. So like I said, the reason for converting to smart object is so that it doesn't um, it will maintain that um, resolution, the initial resolution. Okay. So now the next thing to do is that um, I can drag my um, icon. Okay. So I just drag the icon into the um, you know my my work area which is here so i click the icon here and i drag it into my work area all right so as you can see i have successfully dragged my image here okay i can choose to centralize it okay so now to change the um color of this icon all right on the right side where i have the layer you know the facebook layer here i right click and i select blending options okay then i go to where i have color overlay all right so as you can see um the color okay i can change the color to another color so let me say i think i like a bright yellow or a gold all right so as you can see we have changed the color of this icon okay but the icon is totally covered you know by the gold yellow color so um we are going to fix this error by doing something very simple so i hit ctrl z to undo the action all right so in order to avoid that error um we, we are going to use the eraser tool to take out the um white this white layer here all right so um we're going to rasterize it you click and you rasterize all right so we're going to take out this white the the white part of this icon so that it will make it kind of transparent so to do that i take my eraser tool here all right my magic eraser tool rather and i click on the white part of this all right so as, as you can see um the icon is now transparent 
here okay so now we repeat the process we go to blending options okay you right click and select the blending options and then um okay you go to color valley good so as you can see now our icon is looking really nice all right so we have changed the color from a uh, uh, navy blue or from a blue um, color to a bright yellow color all right so you can still change it further to any color of your choice okay you can choose a red um uh, uh, okay green light green red and all that but i think i prefer the bright yellow so i just take it leave it at the bright yellow okay so then i can go ahead and convert to a smart object before i resize so that it won't um, become grainy or it won't be okay or it won't become pixelated okay so okay so i can reduce it okay so we can go back to the folder where we have the list of icons and um, i select another one okay so let me do for the twitter okay i right click and i select open in for the shop okay okay so i rename this as my twitter twitter and um okay once again i drag it straight into my work area like this and of course the next thing to do is to take out this white part like i said earlier if you just go ahead and change the color okay you are not going to get a good um, okay a good outcome right so as you can see um why we have this like i explained earlier is because the image is not transparent okay so to make it transparent right we control z all right then we go to um take my magic eraser to here from here and then i just click to you know, click the icon to take out this white area this okay so as you can see it's now transparent and then i go to my blending options if i'm clicking on the layer um the right layer which is the twitter icon and i go to blending options right then i go to color overlay and there we go i've successfully changed the color so i can i i might just want to make this one different let me choose um, something like a pink okay this is cool all right so this is so i drop my eraser tool and uh, of course i change to a smart object okay then i reduce the size to make it um, the same size as the facebook icon okay so that's my smart guy telling me that it's properly positioned then um, the last one okay i can go to my um okay let me do for the youtube Okay, I right click and say open in Photoshop. Right. So uh, let me just show you a quick tip. Another way to import your um, to bring your um, icon or whatever you, you want to work on into Photoshop is by using you know by going to file and then you select place embed or place linked. Okay. So I select uh, I can just go for the place linked. Okay, and I'll get to where I have the icons on my computer and um, right here and I select um, okay this is it YouTube I double click or I click once and select place all right so as you can see um, we have successfully imported um, the icon into a work area then I click this icon here okay this tick um, this um, good sign to drop the icon all right then um, okay we repeat the process we have to take out this white area by using our magic eraser tool and then um, okay it will, first of all you have to ensure this is rasterized okay so it's, it's asking the smart object must be rasterized before proceeding you just click okay and then you take out the white area all right so then you of course to change the color you go to you right click go to your blending options and um, select okay your color overlay of course you can change the color to whatever color you wish let me change this to uh let me say green i think okay this is cool green and then i can minimize it okay so this is our youtube icon i can take it further down okay okay so i can 
all right so this is how you change the colors of your social media icons in photoshop now let me just show you another very interesting tip you can also use um if you want to make this a pattern overlay um, you don't want to use just a plain color you can use okay if you don't want to use um a plain color or a solid color you can still use you know a pattern overlay how do you do that so let's say i want to make this instead of this green i want to make it you know a pattern um color or a pattern design or all right so to do that i go to i right click and i select same blending options and um, of course like here now as you can see we have the this color overlay option checked but i'll uncheck and i go and i go to gradient uh, sorry not gradient i go to pattern overlay all right so as you can see um this is one of the patterns i have installed in my photoshop so i can go um, i can click the pattern overlay okay to ensure that it is active and i change to any pattern i wish to okay i can change to this green okay another gold okay change to this or to this okay so i think i like the gold so i can leave it at that you can do same for um the twitter icon go to blending options pattern overlay sorry yes pattern overlay um okay i can change to green all right and i hit okay okay so as you can see the twitter icon is not too visible because uh, we're using a deep color so to make it just uh, visible a little you go to same blending options and select stroke all right so you can use maybe a, a, a gold this yellow is cool can change to the white all right can change to the white okay so you can do the same for the um youtube put just give the stroke to make it uh, more visible all right choose a white color over this or a black all right the white whichever okay so this is how you change the colors of your social media icons or any icon at all in photoshop so i'm sure you had value from this video if you did please give the video a like share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe